Hi guys, my name is Lily Gems Girl and welcome to a tour of the 10 new architect homes available in Sims Free Play. These homes were available from the 29th of May 2017, so if they're not available in your town anymore, that's because they've been changed with other ones and you can no longer get them unfortunately, but they look to be some good ones. I don't know if there was a particular theme for these homes, but we'll go and take a look at them. I'm going to show you all of these on a premium size lot. The price of how much it would cost for you to build them will be probably be completely different than me, depending upon how many houses you have built in your town. But let's take a look at the first one. This is a teeny tiny one. Obviously, this can be built on a standard size lot, and is it is just one floor. Is there a basement? No. No, so no basement, no stairs, no anything. I really like this floor, actually. I like how it goes with the green wallpaper. That is a really nice look, and it is a nice kind of build. And it is a pretty nice build, to be honest, even though it's a tiny little build, not much going on. I really quite like it. House number two, again, can be built on a standard size lot. I think most of these houses actually can be built on a standard size lot. And oh, we have this fireplace, which is worth lots of LP, I think. So it might be worth building just for this fireplace. Oh, it's got this fridge that I'm pretty sure is worth LP too. This is a nice house with some kind of expensive things in it. It's got the, another one of, oh, it's got another one of these fireplaces. Definitely build in this house because I haven't got any of these fireplaces in my town and I would like some. It's got this nice gaming computer, which I love. And oh, this stereo, which I think is SP possibly. This is nice. I think, I feel like it's in an adaptation of the hallway house. Possibly not. I like that though. House number three can be built on a standard lot. And oh, look at that. That's nice. It's two floors. I like the entrance way. Look at that. I like how that's been done. Let's take a little look at the house. It's got like the French chateau kitchen. And oh, yeah, this is nice. I really like this. Lots of the French chateau furniture. It's kind of, I think that's what the, the intention is for a French chateau. And then let's go upstairs, a couple of bedrooms. This is nice. I kind of want to build this house. That's a really nice build. Look at that. That's cool. Here's the fourth house, and wow. Okay, how many? Oh, we've got quite a few floors on this. Three floors. And. I like how this is done. Okay, so hang on. Wow. Very kind of flowery. This is a really cool design. It's all like black and then with these rugs on the floor and flowers around. It's like something I've never seen before. It's very original. It is really, really nice. How original is this? I love it. It's got one of those fireplaces again. Let's go upstairs. I love that. Let's uh, go upstairs. Actually, I love the. I love this like kitchen in the middle. That's cool. Upstairs we have. Oh, a big, huge bathroom with a couple of toilets in. Master bedroom. Oh wow! This is so amazing. This is a cool house. And then can we go upstairs again? We can. To just kind of a balcony area. He's got little Santa's sleigh there. This is really, really nice. Look at that. I love that. Cool build. Look at it from the back as well. That's awesome. Here's the fifth house, standard size lot. We have a basement and a couple of floors. First off, yeah, definitely building this because we have got a dragon and this, I don't know what this is called, but I know it's LP. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be building this house, no matter what else it's got in it. Uh, it's got a fish tank. If you want a fish tank, and downstairs. It's got a DJ booth, if you missed out. Is that the DJ booth? I think it is, yeah, from the party time quest event thing that we did recently. Nice. And then let's go up to the second floor. Nothing amazing in the second floor, but it, there doesn't need to be anything amazing because we've got the dragon down there. 
yeah, I like this. And then is that two bedrooms? Yeah, two bedrooms upstairs. Have a little look at it, how it looks as a whole. That looks cool, look at that. Has it got a firework there? I think that's a firework, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I think I'm gonna be building that. I think that's the second one that I'm gonna be building out of this set. Here's the sixth house, standard size. Let's take a look at it as a whole. Ooh, it's rather large. And it's got a nice little pool area outside. Thanksgiving table there. Got anything rare? It doesn't look anything massively rare. Next floor. It's a nice build, but there's nothing, none of the furniture is particularly rare or anything. So, obviously, up to you if you want to build that one. It's nice. Number seven, and this is a very light airy feel type of house isn't it it's got some of the french chateau or lots of the french chateau furniture i think and yeah it's, i think yeah it's a standard size standard size house they kind of forgot to put windows on the bottom level did they or is it that the reason let's go and take a look no i think maybe they just forgot to put windows on the bottom level i like the entrance how they've used this staircase up to the top so i think I think that possibly, yeah, this isn't like maybe like meant to be underground type of thing and then you come up and this is the main entrance to the house, which is pretty cool. That's try something that I've tried to do in the past and I lost it with my game save, the thing that I built. Yeah, it's gone. But anyway, you can come into the house here, I think, and then, yeah, you can either go up. Oh, it's kind of like a little artist studio up here. This is very nice. It's cool or you can obviously go down into kind of the main house lounge area that's nice the serenity reigns kind of behind the fireplace like that I like that We've got a bedroom another bedroom and a little kitchen this is nice I like this I think I would like to build this or like my own kind of version of this taking like inspiration from this I think it's nice Here's the eighth house, and this is the standard size lot. We've got a little pool outside. Kitchen here. We've got anything rare? Come on. There must be something rare in one of these houses. Oh, we've got some Latin furniture. Is that no? Is that Latin furniture? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, Latin furniture. This screen, was this a prize in uh, one of the Sintown professional things? I feel like it was. I don't think I have access to that anymore. I'm not sure. Let me know down below in the comments about that screen. But I feel like I want to build this house for that screen because I don't think I can get it. I need to double check. Uh, what have we got? We've got a bedroom over there. I like those green. I never really used the green rugs. I quite like that. And then let's go up again. And a little gym area. I like this design of this house. With the Neo Tokyo furniture over here, a little bar in the middle. This is nice. Look at that. That's a really nice build. Well thought out, well planned, well designed. I like that. Here is the ninth house, and oh, this is a premium sized lot house, isn't it? It's got a nice little front lawn area with wedding arbor there. How do we get in? Is this, yeah, this is the front door here. Oh, I feel like this, hmm, it's all sort of all over the place, this build. Let's go down. Nothing really down there. It's in the back garden, nothing major. Let's go up. There's so much stuff in this house. Library area over here. One of those fireplaces again. There's loads of those fireplaces in uh, this set of houses. Oh, it's got a hanger. A towel hanger that I think is only available if you build the pre-built spa house. I think I'm right in saying that. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure somebody will. Down below in the comments. Uh, oh, we've got another floor. I suppose it's supposed to be like maybe a hotel or something. It possibly is. I don't really know. It's nothing too rare, but it's a pretty cool build. Look at that. Quite nice. Let's have a look at it from the other angle. Lots of balcony areas and stuff, isn't there? 
And here is the tenth and final house. And oh my goodness, this looks odd. Let's have a little look at it from. Ooh, like a big donut house. Okay. Yeah, it's all open in the middle. So let's take a look. We've got lifts on this side. Nice open like courtyard area in the middle with a little pool as soon as he rains. I feel like this isn't a house, no it's going to be, yeah like a spa is it? Yeah, I think it possibly. Like a spa retreat place. Let's go up. Yeah it is. We have exercise bikes there. Where you can get massage, I think, pedicures, manicures, things like that. This is nice. So up again. Oh, I love the wallpaper that they've used. Oh, it is like it's like a retreat place. They can come and stay here. This is nice. I've, actually, it's funny this house has come up because I was thinking of maybe building one of these in my house, like you know, like a, a retreat where you go and do yoga and meditate and stuff like that. There you go, that is the last house. That is a tour of all the new architect homes. Let me know down below in the comments if you are going to be building any. Like I said, there's definitely a couple that I'm going to be building. Maybe was it number two and number four possibly? I'm going to get started building them because we never know when these architect homes are going to just disappear on us, do we? We still haven't got that timer that we keep asking for. But thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you guys soon for a new video. Bye.